In this video, I'm going to take a look at a slightly more difficult area problem. And this is a problem that consists of two different shapes. So you have to be kind of mindful of that. And so we have a window is constructed to have a semicircular window on top of a rectangular window. What is the maximum area of the window if the total perimeter is 16 feet? So if we just quickly draw this out here, we have a rectangular window. And now what kind of a rectangle? It could be a square. I don't know. I haven't figured that part out yet. And then it has a semicircle. Wow, that is really not a semicircle, but hey, it works. Okay, and we know that it has a width, and we know that it has a length. And if this has a width, half of that is the radius. So this is W over 2. Okay, so now we've got our drawing. I know that I am looking for the area, and the area of this is going to be the area of the rectangle, which is width times length, plus the area of the semicircle, which is going to be half of the area of a normal circle. A normal circle is pi r, which is w over 2, squared, but we only need half of it. And so now, if I could just clean this up a little bit, uh, WL plus, and now this is going to be W squared over 4, but it's over 8. This is pi W squared over 8. And therein lies my problem from last time. <laughs> That's my second attempt at this. I screwed up about five minutes into the video. <laughs> so, all right, now the second part is we have a total perimeter of 16 feet. So 16 feet is going to equal the perimeter. Well, the perimeter, I always like to just start in a corner and just count my way around. And so we have, if we just come up here, we have L plus. And we need a half of a circle. Well, a circle is 2 pi r, so we just need pi r for half of it, which is w over 2. And then we have another length. And then we have a width. And so if we clean that up just a little bit, then we get 16 is equal to 2L plus pi W over 2 plus W. And so if we use this and we solve for L, because there's lots of Ws in there, and I'm not as sure as I really want to do that. So in hindsight, I might, who knows, I, I, I might want to do that in the first place. But I'm going to go ahead and solve for L first. And so I'm going to, I'm going to need to subtract off all that stuff. So I have 16 minus pi W over 2 minus W. And then I have to divide all that stuff by 2. And that gives me L. Okay, again, let's go ahead and clean this up. And this is going to be 2w over 2. And so i got to divide everything out. So this is going to be 8 minus pi w minus 2w. And that stuff is all, whoops, ah, 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 ah. be very careful here. We don't want to switch that yet. Plus, negative. And now this is going to be 4 equals L. And now I switched out that sign because if I put the negative sign out here, then I have to switch both of these up top. And I don't think I want to do that yet. I don't want to make any more sign errors than I have to. Mostly because it causes me to get the wrong answer, and I don't like getting the wrong answer. So going back here, I have area is equal to, and now I'm just going to put that stuff in. Well, I have a W here, and then my length, which is 8 plus negative pi w minus 2w all over 4, okay, plus pi w squared all over 8. And now I want to go ahead and start working on cleaning that up. So a is equal to 8w plus negative pi w squared minus 2w squared over 4 plus pi w squared or 8. OK, so now let's get everything. Well, it looks like we want to get everything over 8. And so we've got a is equal to 64w minus pi, oh, 
minus 2 pi w squared minus 4 w squared plus pi w squared all over 8. Oh, what a mess. Okay, so now if we can clean that up a little bit, we're going to take a negative pi w squared, a plus pi w squared that cancels that one out, cancels the two out on that one. And so we get uh, area is equal to, wow, uh, sixty four w minus pi plus four w squared all over eight. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, now we can go ahead and take a derivative. You can you could have done that at any time prior to this, but uh, I, I really like to try to get it down to something more manageable. Okay, so dA dW. So now we're taking the derivative of the area with respect to W, the width. All right, this is going to give me 1 eighth out front, and then I need to take the derivative of what, what's left. So that's 64 minus 2 pi plus 4 W. Now we set that equal to zero, and when we do, and we multiply through by eight, that just goes away. So zero is equal to 64 minus uh, two times pi plus four w. Now this is gonna give me uh, 32 over pi plus four is equal to w. Subtracting 64 and dividing by negative two gives me that positive 32. Dividing by uh, pi over or pi plus four is going to give me pi plus four in the bottom. Okay, so now that's my length or that's my width. Now I have to go back and find my length. And so there's a couple ways you can do this, but uh, as I'm looking, eh, there's really no good way to do it. I'd say I'm going to go ahead and pick this out right here. That might be the best way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shove it back into that equation. So I have 16 is equal to 2L plus. Now I have pi over 2 times W, which is 32 over pi plus 4 plus 32 over pi plus 4. So now if I can get these into one big monster fraction here, in order to do that, I need to have a 2 down here and a 2 up here. And so this is going to give me 16 is equal to 2L plus 32 pi over 2 times pi plus 4. And now that's plus 16. 64. Good Lord. All right. So now I need my 16, but I have uh, 16 times 2 times pi plus 4 minus 32 pi minus 64 all over. 2 pi plus 4 is equal to 2L, which gives me, it's a long one. It's just a lot of, it's just a lot of uh, moving stuff around. So I got 32 times pi plus 4 minus 32 pi minus 64 all over 4 pi plus 4. Okay, so now I'm seeing this right here. That and that cancel. This is L. So I've got 32 and 4 minus 64. So 32 times 2 is 64 times 2 is 128 minus 64 is 64. 64 over 4 pi plus 4 is equal to L, which is equal to, divide that by 4, you get 16 over 
pi plus 4. Jeez, oh, peace. And there we go. All right, now, here's our two. Here's our two. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll throw in a white color in here. And that'll be some good contrast now. So W is equal to 32 over pi plus 4. And L is equal to 16 over pi plus 4. And here are our dimensions. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Okay, this is a rather, it's a rather extreme. Yeah, I mean, it's not the worst I've ever seen, but uh, it does give you uh, kind of shivers up your spine when you see going through this this much stuff. Remember that a lot of these, when they get down to it, all you're doing is kind of cleaning up things as you go along. That's really the hardest part. You must learn to take your time to do this. Be patient. Go slow. If you don't go slow, you'll do what I did. You'll make a mistake. You make a mistake, you'll be doing it again. And and so <laughs> once you're 10, 15 minutes into a problem, most students go, ah, I'm done. Well, believe me, there are problems a lot harder than that. And that's fine. But you must learn patience, patience in calculus.